Hey church family, Brandon here with Calvary Chapel Hemet, bringing you today's Heart to Home Daily Devotional. Hey, have you ever stopped and thought about uh, how powerful our God is? I mean, how powerful and, and just awesome He is? The Bible tells us some pretty neat things about just how powerful God is. And so I want to read to you guys out of the book of Job. Um, Job's one of my favorite men in the Bible. And uh, we're going to be taking a look at verses in Job 38. Uh, so let me read you the first one. And I just, I just picked these verses out because uh, they're some of my favorites in this chapter. But the whole chapter is really cool. Um, and I love this because in my Bible, this chapter is titled, God Reveals His Omnipotence to Job. And so omnipotence, meaning his unlimited power, right? One of God's attributes is he's all powerful, okay? And it starts out with God speaking to Job in verse 3, and he tells Job this. He says, brace yourself like a man. I will question you, and you shall answer me. Interesting. Brace yourself or prepare yourself like a man, so for the men out there, uh, this is proof that God expects men to act like men, um, <laughs> but that's a different devo. <laughs> Anyways, God really starts revealing to Job just how powerful he is by asking him a series of unanswerable rhetorical questions. And so in verses 34 through 35, God asked Job this, he says, can you raise your voice to the clouds and cover yourself with a flood of water? Do you send the lightning bolts on their way? Do they report to you? Here we are. These verses are some of my favorite in chapter 38. Because guys, our God is so powerful. I mean, he speaks and the clouds open up and pour out their rain. He says to Job, can you do that to yourself? And he's so powerful that, that he literally tells the lightning bolts when they can go out. And even the lightning bolts acknowledge him as God and say to him, here we are. Where do you want us to go? That's pretty cool. Let's look at a few more. How about, uh, let's go to verses 8 through 11. Same chapter, chapter 38 of Job. And by the way, I'm reading out of the NIV uh, because I like how it words these verses. But God still speaking to Job here. He says, Who shut up the sea behind doors when it burst forth from the womb? When I made the clouds its garment and wrapped it in thick darkness. When I fixed limits for it and set its doors and bars in place. When I said, This far you may come and no farther. Here is where your proud waves halt. And so another really cool set of verses there showing just how powerful God is. He tells the waves where and when to stop. So next time you head out to the beach and you watch the waves crashing and you see the waves come up on the sand and then roll back out in the ocean, stop for a minute and think about it. The reason they stop right there is because God tells them to. I could go on all day about how powerful God shows himself in Job 38 and 39, actually. Um, and I encourage you to read those two chapters. And after you do, I want you guys to remember this. It is the same God, the one who tells the lightning bolts where to go, the one who tells the waves where to stop. That God, he is your heavenly father. So why are we talking about how powerful God is right now? Let me close with asking you this question. What is it that's troubling you today? What is it that's going on in your life right now that, that has you so worried? Read Job chapter 38 and 39 and then ask yourself if that thing is more powerful than the God who promises he is for you and he loves you. Let's pray. So Father God, we thank you, uh, Lord, for your promises to us that you are for us, that you love us, Lord, that you love us so much that you came down to the cross at Calvary and willingly gave your life and rose on the third day, Lord. 
We thank you for that, Lord. We see how powerful you are in, in the scriptures, Lord. That you tell the waves where to stop. That you loosen the belt of Orion and, and all these other just awesome things, Lord, that we can't even comprehend. And then we look at your promises to us about how much you love us. And we realize that our Heavenly Father is more powerful than anything, anything in this world. More powerful than any problem. More powerful than any trial. More powerful than what causes us to worry sometimes. Help us to remember that, Lord. We love you, we praise you, and it's in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Hey guys, as always, it's a blessing doing these little devos with you. I'm looking forward to the next time we're together. Hey, God bless you guys. Have a great day.